late this afternoon, Clubby and I got our hands on the first Yamaha T700 World Raid press bike to land in Australia. Now, we know the Europeans have had this bike for about 18 months and we've patiently waited. These bikes are a big deal for us Aussies, with the key features being improved suspension and a 500km fuel range, just what the doctor ordered for our wide brown land. Meanwhile, our American cousins have to sit back and wait a little longer. I caught up with Clubby after he'd spent about an hour on the bike. In the coming weeks, Clubby and I will be taking two of these bikes on a very decent adventure into the Australian outback to see how they stack up. Clubby, the world raid has hit the north side of Sydney. I think it's the first one north of the Harbour Bridge. And if it's not, I'm taking the credit for it anyway, mate. <laughs> but has it been a long time coming or has it been a long time coming, Dave? Breach birth. <laughs> wow. That's a long berth. Yeah, but no, I'm stoked, mate. This is what, okay, I'm gonna say it. This is what the Tenere 700 should have been from day one. Yeah. Fat tank yeah. in the true Tenere tradition. 23 litres on board here and a whole lot more with the world rate. So I was having a look, there's a bit of aerodynamic changes. I mean, there's lots to talk about, so we better there's, blast through that. There yeah. is a lot of change, mate. Yeah, the screen feels a little more forward. The winglets are definitely longer. They are. There's they? changes to the actual cow, internal cowling pieces here, which is noticed directly above the headlights there yeah. is different to the previous model. Yeah, look at this here. Oh, yeah. that, that's a gap there. Yeah, so there's a reshape. Trying to improve the aerodynamics. Absolutely there. But I'm going to make the call now. I still had wind noise coming down the M2 from Yamaha this <laughs> afternoon, mate. And I didn't even wear my goggles. I had the shield closed and smooth and still had the old wind noise, mate. It goes show me, on. Show me through this cockpit. What's going uh, on? So, oh, look, the island steering damper there, 18 different positions. And you're clearly, this is a good shot to show the two fuel tanks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 23 litres in total. Yeah. Right tank, left tank, link pipe, two separate filler caps. Mm -hmm. Smallish palaver, I will admit. But, hey, you're going to get 500 k's range out of it now. So that's one fill per day for most of us, mate. Let's turn the dash on. So no longer do we have the old LCD display. Color TFT screen. All sorts of information. And you have multitudes of it. Just your normal trip information comes up here on this little scroll. We'll talk about this in a minute, mate. That operates everything. But then to get into your settings, you activate the setting area, go into that. And that'll just put you through different resets for, for different bits and pieces. We come back out of there, go back, go now. You've got ABS mode changes on this one, three ABS modes. So you've got Ooh. ABS front and rear, like full ABS. Yep. You've got rear off ABS, and then you've got off off ABS. Mm -hmm. Okay, I haven't discovered yet whether that's on the fly. I doubt it. Mm. Okay, because I, don't, I, I haven't been able to activate the settings uh, menu button down here while moving. Okay, we'll go back into settings again. The other point that comes with the new display, the TFT, you have a number of... Oh, missed it. Different themes. Oh, it, you, I've got to get my head around this. Sorry, guys, let's do it again. This little... <laughs> There's long presses and short presses. So go a short... No, I did it wrong again. We will get there before the sun goes down. I'm just conscious of that. <laughs> Themes is what I want. Let's give it a short press. Ah. Right. Okay, so you've got three different themes for the screen display. Explorer, Street and Raid. Short press. When it goes grey, give it a long press. There, the screen's changed. So oh, now wow. you've got a big fuel bar up the left yeah. and smaller other indications there. Yeah. Let's get back to settings. Sorry, done it wrong again, Dave. You're getting there, Clubby. You've oh, been on the look, bike mate. five minutes. Oh, 27 kilometres I've done so far. I've gone into maintenance now. I don't want to do that. That's not me. <laughs> maintenance? Isn't it automatic? The Technology. maintenance? Technology. I also want you to gum up here to the fork caps. Oh, yeah. What's up on top of that fork leg you can see there, Look Dave? Look at this preload. Preload. Fully adjustable, too, I think. Yep, yep. Adjustable spring preload and compression and rebound damping on the front. Yep. So the standard T7 doesn't have the adjustable preload. No. And then, of course, at the back, you've got manual adjustable preload as well. Now, just one question on that. So, um, uh, rebound up the top, compression down the bottom, or we, we don't yeah, know? Yeah, there where we get to ascertain that, but right. on Kyabas it would be no, the other way, wouldn't it? On I'm not sure. Well, we'll check that, but we will check okay. that before publication. All right, so KYB suspension. Now, you've already told me a bit about it. It doesn't die if you tell no, me. No, mate, it, it feels like we've actually got spring weight we can work with on this bike. 
Yeah. You know, like we've ridden the Trans Alp, soft. We've ridden the, the 800 V-Strom, soft-ish. You know, this one doesn't have that feel. It's not like we're using up a whole lot of sag just with our own body weight, you know? Right. So it feels better. And you got to remember now, these are different shock and fork than the standard model. Yep. Longer travel, 20 millimetres more suspension travel each end. Right. Okay, so you've got 230 mil of movement in the front, wow. 210 at the back, which is 20 more than the standard bike, uh, and 10 mil higher seat height mm -hmm. from the longer suspension, and it is one foot for me now. Okay. Okay, in the past you've been two foot tippy toes. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. I'm more one foot tippy toes. Yeah, one footy. Yeah, and that's the so, same. And it's the world's longest seat. Still a two piece seat. Yeah. So your access into the airbox is still the same. Pop I the back. I could land off. a helicopter. Yeah, right? exactly. Mate. It's a that. massively long that's seat, mate. But it, you, you do notice the lower profile of the fuel tanks. Yes. Okay, that because the standard tank is just above the steering head crown there. This one's just just below. So. So these things would lower the centre of gravity, this fuel, or they are carrying extra fuel. I think I'm hearing, or I've read, the, the centre of gravity is lower because they're actually, it's, it's lower. Okay, I, they, they delivered the bike with five litres of juice in it, so near empty. Right. So and I'm thinking, know. man, yeah, sweet. Yeah. I filled it up on the way home. Yes. I've now got 23 litres on board and I'm feeling the weight, but yes, it's lower than certainly your safari tank. Yes. Okay, oh, God, as an yeah. example, mate. That's, okay, that's 25 litres. Yeah. But they've, and, and the actual shape, and so it, it, it reminds me of my, all my old Tenere 660s yes. that had the, the 23 litre capacity and similar shaping to this. Yeah. The ergos are good right here where I stand. Yeah. I mean, I haven't hit the dirt yet. But what I will make the call is when you fit crash bars, they're going to come around and they're going to get close to your knees. And like, even I'm only 5'10, my knees are right up here in yeah, this no. profile cut out here. And yeah. crash bars are going to, I bet you, they'll pick up mounting point here on yeah. the frame and then down on the lower down tube that, mm. that is just there for, you know, basically to carry the bash plate. Mm. So that'll be a point there that'll be curious to see about. Yeah. Um, it's just not a It's just not a standard Tenere done up, though, is it? A significant change. Oh, the suspension yeah. is the first thing I noticed that feels yeah. different and feels yeah. better. Yeah. Initially, I'm only talking on riding it on the street coming home today. Yeah. It doesn't have front end dive, like, even under hard brakes. Now, the English have had this. John Mitchison was oh, saying to me, the English have had this 18 months. I know. It's a nuts, isn't it? Now, my American audience is going to be crying in their hands. They don't get it, do they? No, well, good luck to them getting it in the next 18 months, I think, is the call there. Oh, I don't wow. know, mate. I'm, I don't I hear that the story is that the Americans will only receive Japanese-made Tenere's. Right, okay. Okay, whereas this one is still made in France. Right. Okay, the world raids are all made in France. There's no world raid production at the moment, or I don't know if it's going to become, or yet, yeah. be going to Japan or not, I don't know. But no, I, there's, there's no whispers of this bike being US bound anytime soon. Now, do you want to have another chop at that speedo, or what? Or are you going to give in, or? Cause I'm, I, I think I need got, a three day ride to, cack, to get, I, to get I've the- I've got the cricket tape all ready to go. So no, we'll... look, it's still on this. Because no, I want to get it, because you're all going to be asking me, what's this reset button over here, right? Yeah, I know. But I'm thinking, oh, we've got cruise control, no one's told us. <laughs> but no, I've got to get this third. <laughs> no, done it wrong Look, again. We can, we can be forgiven. No, 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 I had it, I've been doing it all the way home, mate. So while wonder... you're doing that, I'm going to keep running my eyes over this bike. Anyway, right. Because there's a few different things. So the Pirelli STRs yep. are standard now yep. on the bike? Yep, they're the, they're the oh, STRs, okay. that's the same as the standard one. 21 front, 18 rear. Yep. Um, you notice anything different with the front brake? Nothing? No, it's no. good. It's, it's, it's good. good. You know, this thing's brand new. The gearbox is a little tight. Yes. This thing, uh, when you're stationary, when yep. you're moving, but it's, it's nice and sweet. Yep. Um, what are the first impressions? Oh, the LED blinkers. LED blinkers. That's a, yep. that's a new yep. one I'm, on this. I'm looking at it. And then I was going to say that, um, I've only, my two previous T7s, I've always had the Akropovic Akropovic yep. muffler on it. Yep. This one, it's got no note under acceleration, yep. but it's got a little bit of a bobble under deceleration, which is kind of nice and that, but not offensive. Now, when I was looking down here then, I just spied the catalytic converters in a different place. Yeah, on, on the latest it's up built models out of Europe mm. and Japan now, they've moved the cat right up there into that yeah, right, right side header that. pipe, mm. whereas previously it was lower further back. Uh, that impacts then the design of bash plates. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. a lot of guys that would world raise in Euro are finding that Earlier bash plates for the T7 won't mm. fit to the World Raid. Yeah. There's a few that do, but most don't. I tell you what, I'm looking into the guts of it here, and there's a few adventure riders who will look at this plastic, um, what's that radiator fuel, is it? 
Yeah. Yeah, overflow bottle, that'll be Yeah, there. that needs protection, my friend. A first gum stick in the Victorian high country will go straight through yeah. that. And I'm just looking down there, and there's the uh, oil filter as well. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to take this off bush, I think uh, we need a decent bash plate. But, yeah, but you would always expect that. Yep. Okay, so you got to talk to me about price, Dave. You haven't asked me about what does it cost, son? <laughs> What's it cost, mate? Okay, are you sitting down, Dave? I'm, I'm, well, I'm trying to, but I've got to film. So let's just put this into comparison. So the current T7 is now 1999. Right. Right away for the standard model. Yes. Okay, 25,499 right away for the, the world raid. All right. Okay, so it's a five and a half grand premium for your fuel range, your steering damper, your colour LCD, your switchable ABS, longer travel suspension, firmer suspension. So a lot of, lot of upgrades. Um, the first shipments, Yamaha told me, each state has now received shipments of the bike, are all pre-sold and allocated. Wow. And the blue one, which is the other colourway, went like hot potatoes which I can understand, you know, Blue Crew, Yamaha, the blue is, 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 co is common to all their YZ and WR off-road bikes. Right, so I've just about covered everything. Now, in terms of our plans, this bike you're going to have long-term and do stuff That's to it? That's the plan at the moment. I've got it for 10 days. Right. You go away for the next 10 days. Yeah. Cameron and I, you come back. Yep. You get it for 10 days, and i got to go off and do work in, in my other real-world job for 10 days. Yep. Then we're back. And so then we've got to get then a second one. Yes. And we can do a mega ride. Beautiful. Okay, I'm, I'm heading off tomorrow, ASAP, straight down to the Snowy Mountains on this thing for three days. Yeah. Just to do a run in. It's brand spanking new. Yeah. That's my plan there. But, and then, yes, one of them will then become a long term build bike in the magazine. Yes. Our AAB and in the channel. Yeah, yes. With Mad TV. Beautiful. So that'll be ongoing. But yeah, there's going to be two available to us. Yeah. And uh, I think the issue at the moment is they're all sold. Yeah. You know, and okay, that, that's awesome, but there's a lot more coming. That's the other point. There's now, a lot more coming. Now, we better thank Yamaha because this is a bit of a scoop for, for Mad oh, TV fact, well, and AAB. This, this is, is the, the first, first bike. First media bike out of the warehouse there. Yeah. You know, there were there are stacks more of them queued up there yep. to, to go out to dealers for dealer use and obviously all the others that have already gone to dealers and customers. Yeah. And, and I think the thing that's been wicked, mate, you know, everyone knows, you know, I'm Captain Tragic, Tenere yes. Tragics. I've had so many of my Tragics that just bought this bike sight unseen for that badge up there, yeah. right, Mighty Tenere, and for that fuel capacity there. Oh, and the suspension, and I And the reckon. suspension. I mean, you've got all your other upgrades, yeah. but that, as I said at the outset, the true Tenere legend is yeah. overland travel, long distance, 23 litres is going to get us to that. And honestly, it just feels nice. You feel taller. You definitely feel the height of yeah. the seat. The suspension's firmer. You know, I can't wait to do it. get some dead set miles on it. Long live the Tenere Tragics. Hip hip roo. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. so good to have it here, Doug. It is, isn't it? It's a Finally. Cracker. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right, so he hasn't fixed up the dash. Oh, so mate, I am having a shocker. <laughs> Long hold. Bring up settings. Go oh, through. Here oh, goes. that's the other point. There's a My Messaging. Ride app. So yeah. you, you've got phone connectivity to it yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. If you go through the wrap, yeah. let's do a long. Oh. Short, go grey. Now press long. Yes. Whoa. Isn't that great? Look at that. Oh, true. That's what you need. Yeah, but this apparently is for. They're trying to create this whole raid riding, riding aspect best. in Europe. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, with sort of like Dakar esque. Yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah. In so events. They're timing things. But then that's what this switch gear on the left is about. Right. Is setting your, your trip meters and to match things. then your route instructions, be they yeah. print or electronic at those right. events. So glad I got that out. <laughs> Did it take 38 minutes, It was Dave? a breach burst. I would have gone through birth. half a tank of fuel trying to get that done, mate. Well, exciting time for AAB and Mad TV. And yep. uh, anyway, thanks for bringing that out, Clubby. I mean, the, the sun is setting, but it's literally just been ridden oh, straight mate, out of the mate. factory. The sun's about to rise again tomorrow, mate, and I'll be gone. So, <laughs> yeah. no, it's mint, mate. Eh? It's, it's, look, it's, it's, everyone's been waiting for it. Yeah. You know, and like, I'm just stoked that it's finally here. And it's going to be such an, and I'll make the call now, such an appropriate bike for Australian outback adventure riding. Absolutely. That's what the Tenere Legend's all about. Mate, with that range, we got to do a cracking adventure with it too. Oh, absolutely, mate. We'll do that, yep. mate. It's, uh, like, you know, if I had, if, if the planets aligned, I'd be in Cameron Corner in three nights' time and yep. then just keep going. Oh, that's where but, I think we should head. Yeah, it'll be there or I reckon, what about our old mate Rocket? Rocket Rod. Rocket Rod Faggeter, yeah. We'd be able to watch his dust for about a half an hour and then 
Bye yeah. bye, Rodney. We'll catch up to you at the end of the day. So, but that's the con yeah, that's the country that this bike is made I'd for. I'd love to get some slow mo video of Rocket Ride on one of these World Tenerays doing a gazillion miles an hour. I think that'd be pretty doable, Dave. Okay, <laughs> let's see if we can achieve that. You'll have no issue with doing that for you, mate. All right, All right. mate. Well done, Clubby. Yep. Yeah, thank Thanks you, for mate. the report. All right. See let's, you, mate. Uh, tune in soon. See ya. Be back, Jack.